Man, this game didn't really just freeze up right before the stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not there. Arr! Hold on. Welcome to XBC. Welcome to XBC. Hype train! Look at that. Ice Wolfen with the bits. We got Jimbo with the nine month resub. And we got Stubert popping off a late 41 month resub. 40s, man. We're in the 40s Welcome now. Boss Man popping off a 23 month resub. Holy shit. Garamin popping off XBC. a two year resub. 24 months. Big hype to Garamin. Holy crap, man. Two years. Of watching a pro streamer in action i i eh. <laughs> no, i'll take it thank you sir a pro streamer as i can't get my freaking video to work i love it uh, um yeah hold on I got this. It's cool. No, no, it's good. It's gonna work. Didn't work. <clears throat> Maybe if I unplug the camera and plug it back in. Hold on. Immersion ruined. No, you see the side. No. Oh, no, no. What's going on, everybody? Excalibur here, and we are back. Anvil Reforge Eden. No, Anvil. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anvil Designers Challenge Welcome July, to guys. Say. Today we're going to be looking at all of the amazing high G vessels that you guys have crafted and delivered to the uh, Challenge Brief channel in Discord. Uh, big hype for the hype train. Level 2, let's get it. Dude, it is on. We are uh, currently on an undisclosed lava planet that is not high G. Don't worry, guys. We're, uh, remember, the designer's challenge is a uh, a tour of sorts. It's a fair. It's not a. Uh, it's not like Project Prefab or Anvil Test Drive. Um, I do recommend that if you uh, do want to test your builds out, uh, make sure that they're solid and everything. To take it over to Anvil Test Drive, which is now back up. JTKE Gaming and I think uh, RT Buko are going to be uh, testing out stuff. So if you want to take your designer's challenge builds over there to actually get tested i i recommend you do so as well so uh big hype to everybody thank you for all the resubs thank you for the bits ice wolf and hope everybody's having a great saturday what's up jay how you doing man feel bad man we didn't get in uh it's been rough the past couple uh days guys dealing with stuff so um tomorrow i also want to give a big shout out to uh author authorius aka neil uh, we're gonna have a uh, a little uh, a little bry a little barbecue if you will uh, to celebrate uh, his upcoming wedding and I think next Sunday we're gonna be doing a uh, we're gonna be doing a special stream just for him so I will uh, I'll announce that probably uh, tomorrow or maybe Monday but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun so yeah let's get into it guys oh first time yeah pretty much that's how it works yeah we don't know what we're doing ever it's fine. So um, I did want to just show this off right away. As you guys know, um, I have I've done a lot of work in um, trying to build something that can fit on the bar, uh, but can basically handle hell planets, uh, midnight planets, uh, high G situations. Albeit, it's not too hard to build a high G uh, CV. Uh, the Augur Mark uh, G4 has been out for a while, so I didn't feel like it made... I think I've probably even shown that in a previous design shot, so it doesn't make sense to show it here. But uh, this basically supports that vessel, so um, you can basically take this down as a dropship. Uh, and, you know, there's... there's uh, It's very important to... I think high G is probably the most important thing other than combat to test because there's so many uh there's so many aspects of it that you don't really uh understand until you actually do it little things like getting back on your ship in a high g situation um oxygenation uh having a shower you know there's so many things that you have to take into account when when uh bringing something onto a uh a very hot uh high gravity planet so you know after a couple previous prototypes we uh landed on uh, the landmine mark three which i'm uh, i'm very happy i'm very proud of this build it may be um yeah it's probably the one i worked on the most in this season right we've done the gimlet we've done the uh the g4 mark ii we've done um we've done a lot of stuff man we did the claymore the bar um but this guy definitely gets a lot of use as you guys know not only is it just a high g cv it's also a combat cv and uh you know we've taken out frigates and corvettes and um you know some other stuff i think we took out a destroyer right like recently or was it a battle carrier i don't remember one of those um but yeah so basically this is it's got uh three it's got um three of each of the uh banks it's got all of the uh smaller uh shield stuffs so it's like 42 700 shield um, it's got a constructor and a deconstructor. Uh, it does, ha it, if fully loaded, it requires a lot of box, right? Uh, you can put the big harvester right there. You've got two ice harvesters. You've got sentinel flak. You've got tier two rockets, tier two positron, tier two lasers, fixed uh, laser cannons. You've got tons of thrust in each direction. Uh, you got a good amount of, whoop, you got a good amount of thrust uh, upward, so it could easily support, uh, 4G environment, uh, fully loaded. It's got a 640k cargo system, and then it's got a 320k ammo and a 320k harvest, uh, which I found more than enough for um, 
really going out there and doing like all day ops and coming back and i mean it's it's got a ton of cargo uh long range radar in the back I, I gotta say like the cargo thing is is really cool like i'm really digging the new 640 cargo thing i think it's freaking awesome so uh it really does make things a lot better um i'm waiting for garamin to uh, update the uh the uh helios module the cargo module let's go 640s it's time <laughs> it just you know if you're carrying like bulk of stuff like i'd rather have one big box than two boxes right but um yeah i'm not gonna stay on this too long you guys have seen this a million times but this is more or less uh my entry for this month this is the landmine mark three um which i would probably just end up calling it the landmine right because we didn't really release re release the uh previous versions of it so yeah um i will be releasing this uh as soon as possible on patreon i just want to texture it just a touch more give it a little more give it a little more something oh and i want to put the uh drills and uh extend that a little bit so actually the one on the server is probably a little more updated so apologies but i just wanted to show this real quick as my entry just to say i i made an entry guys i did it look at me hard at work now we're going to get to the uh, to the real builds here, which is your guys' builds. And we're going to start out with uh, Stu Bob. Stu Bob has made the uh, Prospector Class Scout. That is not Stu Bob. That's me. I, I forgot about that. Little. Um, all right. I just kept... Oh. Bro, me, me and this uh, blueprint thing... Not having a good day together. There's no, there's no synergy here. It's bad. Oh, oh, oh! It's so slow. All right, I'm gonna get my coffee going while that thing figures itself out. I also made the uh, the mistake of accidentally pressing yes. I want Windows 11 on my Surface, so I think it's actually installing it in the background. It's like desperate. It's desperate for me to get Windows 11. It can't wait. Pins and needles, you know? Yeah. It's like it's like trying to get your friend to watch Breaking Bad. It's like that. It's like, dude, it's the best show ever made. Why haven't you seen it? Ignore the first season. Keep watching. And they're like, eh, you know. It's like, no, trust me. Trust me. <laughs> mm. Landmines are meant to be stepped on and self-destruct in a spectacular fashion. Does this follow the same line? It does. It does if you pilot like me. Absolutely. No, I mean, that's probably the inspiration for the name, to be honest. When it, Well, I've... Yeah, it is what it is. It's already happening, I think, so... All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, look. It's uh, it's doing its thing. All right. Uh, Prospector. There we go. Prospector Class Scout. Again, guys, we are not going to be testing high-G builds um we're here for you know we're here for a tour we're here to see what you guys have come up with and we basically have a small sv with let's see here this is an unlock level seven so basically, yeah, I guess to scout a high G planet has an RCS, twenty four tons. I don't know. I don't know the math, but I'm assuming this would work, and we're just gonna we're just gonna go with that. I mean, it it seems like extremely light, right? Like there's nothing to it. It's got medium thrust. I'm, I'm pretty sure it'd be fine, to be honest. It looks really cool. I like the little, uh, the little glowy highlights, the little core shading highlights here. I'm always fond of this uh, texture from some of my older builds. It's my favorite cockpit too. So, just a little ammo for the uh, Gatling guns. You don't want it to weigh like anything, right? It's just a scout. So, super easy. No, Stan, I will not divide anything. 
I won't. No, if you ask me to like divide something with a pen and a paper, I don't know if I could do it. Honestly, like I really don't know if I could do it. I might. I feel like I could maybe do it, but I don't I don't know. It's a 50/50 to be honest. All right. got some good moves though I gotta say that it's got some good moves all right all right calm down lab coats take it easy everybody's taking their lab coats off starting to flex it's gonna be fine guys I think it's good good job Stu Bob this is the prospector class scout looks really cool man Looks really cool. Shout out to me for actually going on a lava planet for this month. That was cool, right? That was that's what all that warpy business was. I'm an idiot. Like I I took the uh, the bird of prey from the last challenge. I threw an antimatter warp drive in it, thinking I was gonna have to go finding things. And I'm just like, wait a minute. I'm just gonna go find the first lava planet. Why am I why am I trying to find a 4G planet in creative? What, what's that gonna do? I know, right, Stubert? Calm down, guys. Calm down. Yeah, but this is how you're gonna see the builds. It's the lava plant. Okay, hold on. Let's let's tweak let's tweak the settings a little bit here. Oh, there we go. Is that a little better? That's a little better. All right, look at us. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I think. You guys can't see the whole beard, can you? Hold on, we gotta fix this. We gotta fix the beard, man. Hold on. Put myself down too much here. Oh. Better there. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so our next build. Hey, from Argentina, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Our next build is by Bone Dog. It's been a while since Bone Dog put something in, man. That's awesome. Welcome back, sir. That is not it. It's a raid. Look at that heckin' diver popping off with the raid. Oh God! Please tell me I don't. I have this right. Um. Apparently, I don't have the build. I don't think that's it. Is it? Yeah! No, it's it. This is it. The javelin. XBC, pizza, big hype. Look at this thing. Holy shit, there's like cargo box. Oh, that's cool, man. Serving cargo. Hell yeah, look at that. Serving up, man. I like that. That is sick. Hey, good job, Bone Dog. All right. I don't think that ramp goes low enough though. I would worry about that. Let me land it. Yeah, that would be the only the only thing I would say would be it'd be hard to get into the ship, I think. Cool lighting, definitely. A lot of nice uh style here on the sides. Some nice deco and what's not. Solid look, man. It's really cool. I like the shaping of it. 
rest of our housing is really nice, some nice detail. And the use of these uh, 8K boxes are pretty cool too. So that's 32,000 cargo in an SV. Not to mention whatever these are. So more eights. Isn't that supposed to not make that noise? What happened? Why is that making that noise? Isn't it supposed to not? I thought they got rid of the noise for reforging it. Am I in reforging it? I am in reforging it. Yeah, I'm confused why that noise is there. It's freaking annoying, man. I never want to hear that. Yeah, very cool, man. Nice view now. We got food processor hype. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta crouch down on your knees. Make the foods. Look at that. Hold on. You gotta, you gotta do a little crouch. A little crouch. Just a little scramby egg crouch time. Look at that. Yeah, you're like you're grilling up there. You're doing a little thing. You're like, you're over here. You're going over to the fridge. You're grabbing what you need out of the fridge. You're spatuling it up. Look at your beards getting burned. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Good stuff. Yeah, I can move. It's got moves. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it, Bone. It's awesome, dude. Um, this is a unlock level 20. It is a CPU good to go. What is it? Uh, core 9? Nice. So it's a core 9. Um... Yeah, I think honestly my only my only criticism would be the ramp And it's kind of an important thing right because you're not gonna be able to get up there And if you do it's really gonna hurt because even if you have a jetpack on a 4g planet when you land it hurts Like it's it's like crunch, you know, it's frustrating I really wish that they had oh god here I go wishing again I want those elevators that they have in a uh, star citizen, right? The ones off the uh, Andro Andromeda and the Taurus or whatever. The one that comes down out of the center. And it's like a, you know, it's like a whatever, like a square thing. And it's got the four things and it just comes down. That would be sick, dude. If we can get that, ah, oh, it actually works. It would be freaking awesome. But we work with what we have, right? That's all we can do. That's all we can do is work with what we want. We, what we got. I'm okay, guys. I'm tired. Did a lot of cleaning. All right. So that's it for uh, Bone Dog. That is the Javelin Cargo SV. Check it out on the workshop. Um, lots of cargo. Um, could definitely use it for uh, for really doing whatever. Just kind of moving things on a 4G planet. Uh, moving water on just really any planet. It would definitely take a heavy, heavy uh, load of water. Um, so very cool, man. Good job. All right, our next build is by Procyon Latour, and this is the Miner Two. Cool name, man. <laughs> I don't know where, where, where is this build? <laughs> oh no. Um, Proki, I need you to be a little more creative with your names. Hold on. Um, Minor 2. Thanks for following there, Wolf. Heliquin, appreciate it. Uh, I feel like I don't have it, which is bad. Hold on. Yeah, 
Yeah, I do have it. So where is it? It's called Miner 2. I, you know, I do this every month. You'd think I would figure it out, right? I always forget to put the blueprints in the folder, the actual EPBs. I forget that every freaking time, dude. I'll go and I'll, I'll sub to everything and I'll just be like, yeah, we're done. It's cool. And then I completely forget to actually literally drag them over into the blueprint folder. I'm sorry, guys. Give me one sec. So, let's try again. Hey, I got two of them now. This is, again, the Miner 2 by Procyon Latour. So this is a high G Miner. Yeah, super slim, dude. I'm digging how small this is. Interesting. Okay. So it's about 10,000 cargo, 1,500 ammo. Spotlights. Tons of thrust here. We got four of the mediums going upward. Definitely can support that weight, I could tell you that. Um... box fuel access yeah, that's clean man that's super clean solid man the size of it's great you know as long as you know its main function is mining like you know it's okay that it's just purely an external cockpit right like you know you shouldn't be getting out at all right you should be going back and forth to your cv your drop ship or whatever and just kind of handling you know the mining mission uh it looks like it does have some fixed gatlings for uh some drone combat if needed which is also very important yeah I think it's really got all the uh, all the bases uh, covered here very nice I love it dude. I love the shaping I love this little uh, it does it looks like a little blade or something it looks cool man really really nice man yeah it's super compact right I like how thin it looks. High function, man. Very good. 
very clean. Definitely another uh, another awesome miner to uh, to choose from, man, for uh, for playing on the server. So very cool. Appreciate that, Procyon Latour. This is the Miner Two. This is a unlock level twenty, and it is a core five. So it just takes one advanced. That's cool. So pretty inexpensive as well. And honestly, anything 10k or more cargo, like it's pretty solid. You could definitely do like one or two deposits with that amount. Um, so yeah, no, definitely uh, very, very well done, Procyon. Appreciate that, man. All right, we're gonna jump into our next build. This is by Movado, and this is the Tartarus. Mining SV. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, all right, all right, all right. Holy crap, move over, Chisel. It's the Tartarus. Jeez, look at this thing. <laughs> what? Alright, hold on. This is nuts, dude. Look at all look at all this shit going on here, man. I'm digging this. Look at oh that's cool. That's so simple, but it looks really cool right there. This little bit here, that's awesome. That's well done, man. The way it I never thought to put them like that. That's cool. It looks like, I don't know, some little weird like like thruster business something something. I don't know. Some little mechanical thing going on there. I love this too. The little thin thin buddies here going next to the little pipies and stuff. That looks really cool. Little tanks and stuff. Doing tank things, holding stuff, you know, important. Pipes and whatnot. It is cool, man. So three, four, five. Wait, so we got five, ten, twelve. Wait, what? Five. Twenty. We got twenty drills. Twenty drill miner. Sadly, could not bring it on the Anvil server. You could. I mean, if you, you'd have to take some off, obviously, right? Half of them. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if it would work too well on the Anvil server, but. You're definitely working your regular playthrough on a single player. Big old reverse thrust, which is great. How much cargo is this? this thing has a warp drive and a radar. It's got radar, man. Oh, radar! It's got radar! Yeah. Radar! Oh, radar love. Great business. I, I like the way the thrusters are set up too. It's just it looks really cool, man. It looks really mechanical. Really engineery. Engineery, if you will. It's a technical term. Um, turrets where how do you get okay, you just get in right here. I'm like thinking there's an inside. It's gonna be nuts. It looks like a big drill bit that goes on like some big massive thing or something. I will drill you in all the things. Jay would like this, cause like, you're getting at least like 50% stone. Like, there's no way around it. Like, you're getting stone with this. Like, all the stone. Stone! <laughs> yeah, that's nuts, dude. I like it, man. I like the way it looks. I like the way it sits.
Unlock level 20. A uh, core 9. Maximum efficiency. Good work, sir. Good job, Movado. This is the Tartarus. You would donate stone to Jay, but please don't. We don't ha we don't have anywhere to put it. We literally have nowhere to put stone. Like, please don't. Don't even no. Oh god. No, we don't. No, we don't have anything. We filled all the boxes already, Jay. No room for stone. Sorry. No, no, please. Please keep your stone. Donated to the Anvil. Anvil City it needs stone, always. They'd be happy to take it. <laughs> Our next build is by Colesalot. I want to say this is a first time sub. Doesn't say it is, but I feel like it might be. This is the Rescue Ranger. You mysteriously lost all your stone. Oh no. Oh no. Nothing worse. Look at this guy. Another SV. A rather large SV. As would be required for uh, such a mission. We've got plasma and laser cannons. We've got turrets. We've got hard points for more turrets. I We have room for probably a small SV on top, I would say. Or an HV if you're me. Oh, all the little bits. Holy crap, that's a lot of generators, sir. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of generators. I like it. Let's go. Warp drive hype. Fuel. Lots of fuel. Little side. More generators. Generators for days. Ooh. Ooh. Meadow 2. We've got cargo that's labeled. Look at that. Labeled cargo hype. We got ammo and fridges. Food processor hype. Little like pentaxid pipey hype. Oh, that's right, because they the shield did get it? It's it's like it's yeah. Good stuff. Nice. Welcome to XP. Oh, I went back in and I forgot to do the little thing here. Look at that rig popping in out of nowhere with a 22 month resub. Ready to go, man. SV hype from rig hair. Very cool, man. Welcome back, sir. Moves well. Moves well. Definitely moves well. It's got tons of uh, Razy Uppies here. Free fall. Let's do the free fall test. We're in a free fall. What are we gonna do? Activate thrusters! Ooh! Why is that so fun? <laughs> I don't know why that's so fun. It wasn't even close, too. My depth perception is horrible. All right, good stuff. What was that? You hear that? Like the... What was that? Did something happened there? That was weird. I guess it was that. Yeah, dude, listen, you gotta do it, man. 
Was it supposed to be an SV? No, it looks like just a lot of people went SV route, which is nothing wrong with it. I think, honestly, like, most of the, um... Most of the, um... Usefulness... Well, most of the operations would be SVs. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to an HV. I don't know if we've got one this month, but if somebody was brave enough to do an HV... That's off to you, sir, ma'am. But, um, yeah, I think it's, it's pretty much an SV thing, right? Big hype to uh, Cole Salat. I want to say first time submission, Rescue Ranger. Very cool, man. Very cool. Great build. This is a Core 9 as well. Unlock level 20. Solid. Solid. All right, our next build is by El Chupacabra. Holy crap, calm down. I'm not even in the SV. It's okay. That that alarm is is horrible. Like, that should be my wake-up alarm. <laughs> it's a horrible way to start a day. It's like, Jesus, of all the things. All right, Sentinel HG edition, and this is by El Chupacabra. Holy mother of... Wow. All right. Oh, that's a CV. Okay, good stuff. But that was an SV. It scared the crap out of me. Look at this thing. Dude, I like the way you did the solar panels. That's cool. That looks crazy. I like that. This is scary. I like how scary this looks. Guys, I need I need one second. One sec. Sorry about that. Um, so the landlord thought today was a really cool day to do like some drilling in concrete right above my my apartment, and I, I thought I heard them starting. And I, I, okay, it looks like they might not be. So I'm I'm hoping because I literally won't be able to talk if that starts happening. It's gonna really frustrate me. So let's all just hope. Welcome to XBC. <laughs> Wow, Commando coming out of nowhere with a 22-month resub. Dude, we're getting vets coming in here, man. What's up, Commando? How you doing, man? Welcome back, sir. Hope you are well. Yeah, I'm really digging the look of this, dude. It's, like, chaotic, and I love the solar panel thing. Like, that's a really cool way to get a bunch of solar panels on your build without it looking, you know, like a bunch of solar panels on your build. Like, it looks like some kind of... Uh, what are they called? The, um, oh. If Dragon's still here, he could tell me. Their Dual Universe had them. They were the, uh, like RCS or whatever. Or thrusters, but they're like weird attenuars or something like that. I don't know. Some weird name for them. And Haas. Oh, dude. Uh, we hope you're out soon, too, man. Big guy to Commando. 
laps now. No, Dragon, what what are the what are the alternative thrust thingies that you would put on a ship in Dual Universe that look like vents? Weird little venti thingies, flappy venti thingies. Altair yeah, let's go with that. It's kinda giving me that. It's kinda giving me that, yeah. Little spinny shield hype. We got a uh, shield bank capacitor hype. We've got pew pew hype. We've got yeah, it's just it's asymmetrical. It's odd. Like I'm really digging it. It's cool. I don't even know if you can get in it. I don't know where to get into it. I honestly have no idea what's going on here. Hold on. Where do you? Oh, okay. All right. We go in here. Oh, that's cool. Wow, there's like a whole world in here. Look at this. Shower hype. Welcome to Sentinel. Dude, I thought that was the front. Okay. Welcome to <laughs> press V for combat mode. Dude, it's like a... It's like a crazy arachnid thingy. Yeah, it's like a crazy arachnid thingy. So I think my only, my only question would be, what is the actual function of this? I see some combat capability. I don't see a lot of combat capability. I see like planetary basic combat. Like, I, I mean, is this just a, I mean, I do see some laser. Yeah. Okay. I guess I see some laser cannons. So some turrets. So I'm assuming maybe this does harvester, you know, and then it's got it's got a good shield, so yeah, it probably just sits there and eats harvesters, I'm assuming. But yeah, it's super industrial looking, definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna cook that little SV, look at that. Ah! No, sorry, sorry, sorry! Didn't mean it. There we go. Ah, that's really cool, man. So what's the, uh, what's the cargo on this guy? Okay, so it's just a bunch of ammo, but interesting, okay. I'm not assuming this is very expensive. Hold on, let me see here. It's a lot of carbon. It's a core nine, okay. Oh, these are heavy mini, oh yeah. So you know what, this is definitely like a harvest uh, killer. This is meant to just, you know, kind of like, uh, like the Hellraiser. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, definitely uh shout out to Commando, man. Hope you get out soon. We're rooting for you, dude. I hope everything's good. We're here if you need to talk always, man. Just message me. Tons of people. That was by El Chupacabra, and that is the Sentinel HG edition. High gravity edition. They are called Alter Alterons. Okay, Alterons, gotcha. All right, guys, I think this is the best time to probably announce uh, August challenge. Uh, I went back into the archives and I looked at the last time we've done this topic. It's been December 2020 was the last time we did this, which I think was season two, maybe? Probably in the middle of season two. Gunter Wolf, thanks for that follow. Um, so yeah, it's time guys. I think it's time. I think most of us have kind of reached mid to end game to over end game. Some of you overachievers. Um, so I want to see your combat CVs. Uh, August is going to be a combat CV month. Um, a little, a little caveat. Um, it, how do I, do I want to? I don't know yet as far as like limitations. I don't know if it is required to be able to work on the server. I don't know if I want to do that. Like I might send some limitations, but I don't think I'm going to set, I'm not going to set like auxiliary or quantum limitations. 
I might make it to where it's limited. It's like, I, boop, 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 I don't know. Dead. I don't know what the boop, limitations boop, would be, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. Um, hey, Odysseus with the bits, thank you. Um, but yeah, basically, the only thing I really want to require is I want you to tell me what the build is for because there's so many different types of combat. Um, you know, there's combat. You know, you you could call. Like what I do with the landmine, where I go to the harv dense har harvest asteroids and I take out what's there and then I mine. Like that's combat. So, oh, there's that noise. I knew it was coming. Um, the other, uh, you know, or you know, Xerax fleet combat, uh, drone space combat, uh, you know, planetary CB combat. Let's see what you guys come up with. I want to see what you guys are using in the game. And um, let's see if you guys can perfect those combat CV builds and uh, we can get, you know, not only that, but we can get a lot of really cool combat CVs for people that are playing in the server and maybe aren't builders and want to be able to uh, get their hands on some really cool stuff that's already been tested. Core one battle CV. <laughs> so much for Halo themed builds. Um, no, not at all, dude. Um, I was going to do a I wasn't actually going to do Halo, but I was going to do this month a uh a um verse month, but I think next month we'll do a verse month. So, yeah, th th that's on the list, don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I don't want to do them like every other month, you know what I mean? I want to stretch them out a little bit cuz they take time. I mean, it takes a lot more attention to build something from a verse than it does, you know, just creatively. So, I yeah. We'll get we'll get to it, but I just think it's the perfect time in the season to do this, because um, I think a lot of people are shopping combat CVs, and you know, to me, this gives people the best of the best up front in a uh, specific place to be able to uh, to check them out. Absolutely, Philbert. Absolutely. So yeah, brief coming soon. Uh, it'll be even sooner if like somebody else does it from the admin team. <laughs> But whatever, I'll do it. Anybody can do it. Give me more time to work on my fairness. Oh god. You guys hear that, right? Is that that's loud, right? Super loud. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna go mute for like like five minutes, guys. Um grab grab another cup of coffee or whatnot and I will be right back with some more builds.
Uh, if you want mechanical, it's up to you, man. Like, we could do that if you want. They're like sporadically drilling still. Just give me like one more minute here. I want to make sure it stops. Hey, no trouble at all, mechanical. Don't worry about it, man. Um, yeah, we are. I still want to do a Vorion, so I, I actually want to do it yesterday, but I wasn't able to stream yesterday. So, um, yeah, next week we'll definitely uh, check out a Vorion. Yeah, mechanical let me know if you want me to show it now i can show it or if you want to save it for the next challenge i could do that too it's it's totally up to you if you need more time with it i mean we could definitely uh show it on the uh, second stream all right guys our next build is by noob and this is the grimgar I'm a sucker for thin plating, man. When you give me some thin plating, like, I'm there. It just looks really cool. I love that, dude. The way you do the thrusters there. Oh, look at it. It's like... Wait, what? Oh, that's classy. He tied the turret, retractable turrets, to the landing gears. That's cool. Hey, Celian, what's up, man? I'm always tired. <laughs> I'm always tired, man. I'm good, though. Hope you're doing good, man. Long time. Welcome back, sir. I love it, dude. I love the two-tone color here. I'm really digging the way the thrusters look. That looks super clean. Yeah, that's great, man. Lots of nice detail. Oh, I love this. Cool way to use the windows there. That's really nice. Interesting. To scrap your ship, simply copy the name between the from the LCD on the left. Paste it over the core on the scrap ship. What? What?
All right, mechanical, no worries. I don't know what this means. It's some, it, it's some like wizardry, some LCD wizardry. You guys have found a way to play the game in LCDs. And I'm really upset about it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, I like this, dude. That's cool. That's a nice look right there to go to. That's cool. I like that. Some really cool shaping, interior shaping choices here. Yeah. I like how everything's segmented, but still kind of open floor planned. Looks nice. Oh, that's not nice. That's loud and annoying. Damn it. Quick access out. Very nice. Nice large hangar, or not hangar, uh, cockpit area, bridge. I'm okay. Input, output, refine, payload stone. Four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jeez. At least seven full cargo systems, if not more. Yeah, nice display of everything. Definitely some RP aspect to it. Feels nice. This is what is this for? Oh, okay. Wait, what? Oh, furnace. Damn. You know, if we could get like a different looking furnace, I would be all for furnaces on CVs. I just, I don't know, the look of that furnace, like. Just throws me off it being on a CV for some reason. Like, I'd be fine with furnaces on CVs, but it, it would have to take a lot of power. Like, that would have to be the primary function of the build. I don't want, like, a starter CV to have a furnace. That's kind of lame, right? But, like, if it could, like, you know, some big mining, you know, cargo hauler that, you know, does processing, that's cool, you know? But it just has to either weigh a bunch or something. No clone chamber. Zero clone chambers here. They, they're no longer in the game, actually. I don't know if you guys saw that, the last update. They completely removed them. It's a wise choice. I want to lift up so I can see the... Uh, Ah, oh, nice, nice little HUD there. Very cool. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Mining and salvage. Very nice. Great work. This is really, really nice. Nice RP feel to it. It's a full on CV. So, I mean, if that's your primary function in the game, um, you know, this will do it. But then it's also got some combat ability. It's got some other basic CV ability that you can kind of use this as an all arounder. Oh, very good. It looks like. Okay, base attacks, interesting. It, it looks like it's also a miner. Yeah. So you can mine with it too.
All right, guys. So that is by Noob, and that is the Grimgar. Thanks, man. Very nice build. All right, that's going to get us to our next one, which is by Ice Wolfen. This is the IW Orion. Nice. Look at this thing. Ah, uh, that's cool. Wow. Talk about a theme, man. Look at this. Ice Wolfen just wants to be on a boat. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yes, that's the last thing I thought I'd see when I when I went in there. That's awesome. This is cool, man. I like the stacks. Good shaping, too, man. Like, it definitely looks like it. That's wild. How would you get on here? Right. So you come in here. Ladders on cargo boxes. Oh, okay, okay. Got it. Nice. Nice little galley. Chilling in the bathroom. Got the bridge here. Add a landing gear on the other ship. Use aft cockpit go get the boom arm to touch landing gear teleport to other ship jump in cockpit to dock teleport back enable max thrust you're good to go wow i never thought to use teleporting for that that's interesting Wait, what? Oh, that's an LCD. Yeah. Very cool, man. Oh, yeah. So you got the cockpit there so you can see. Interesting. <laughs> right? That's awesome, man.
Good deal, dude. Good deal. This is a core 9 as well. It does take 4 aux cores, 3 CPU, 1 power. That's beast, man. There you go. Triple A for space. Good job, Ice Wolfen. This is the IW Orion. I feel like it needs like just two torpedo launchers, just two. That was a good opportunity. Actually, never mind. You can't do torpedoes on a CV. Never mind. What am I talking about? Don't mind me, or can you? I don't know. Rail gun. It needs a rail gun. Put rail gun on this, then it'll be more awesome. Put rail gun on top, on front here. Right? No? Okay. Thanks again, Ice Wolfen. <laughs> oh, our next build is by Stan, and this is the SSW Kiwa. Oh, you didn't know about the railgun. There you go. Mark two, let's do it. Mark two coming up. Nice. Oh, look at this. This looks mean. Look at all the business under here. Yikes. That that'll hurt. What the hell's going on here, man? Is this a harvest killer? <laughs> POIs in general, jeez. I love the thruster look, dude. Like, it looks cool. I, I love this, too. The glass. Heavy glass looks really good. I just wish they had some more shapes. I wish they had the triangles. This looks great, too. Going into the thruster. That looks clean. Very well done there. Right? Very nice. It's got constructor, it's got repair, it's got it's got everything. Food processor, fridge. Got constructor, deconstructor, and putting output. 140k harvest, 120k ammo, a main 320k. Dude, these look so clean. Why aren't ours this clean, Jay? I think Jay needs to step it up. That O2 looks clean. I, I want my storage to look that good. Yeah, I feel like you're you're slipping, man. This looks really, really nicely organized, clean. Very, very nice. 
I know, it's true, but it never happens. Like, I'm not doing it. I don't even know how to do this. I'm not gonna learn either, so. Oh, that that's it? Okay, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I feel like I could probably just cut. Oh, see, that's a lot. What is that? What is this? A C, I, I guess it's the color. O, sub, what is sub? That makes the two go down. You know, who knows that shit? I don't know that shit. It looks good though, the little two going down, that's everything. That's like the whole build, to be honest. Without that two going halfway down, subscript. I don't know what that means. Subscript, you guys in your weird font stuff. I don't know, it looks amazing, good job. What's this, danger, high temperature. I feel like you spelled that wrong, but we're not gonna hold it against you. And radioactivity, it's probably right. It just looks weird. You know how words look weird sometimes, even when they're spelled right? Deconstructor, that's the place where the cool new deconstructor's going. God, I can't wait for that. When's that happening? My God, it's gonna be amazing. Look at this, shield and gold, gold flecked things. Let me turn this off. Yeah, this is nice. See, his build's so small, but he's got an engineering room. Oh. Yeah. No, this is good. This is really good. Super functional. Like, it does everything you need it to do. It's got good cargo, and it's really small, but it looks awesome. It's got a cool, like, kind of drone head look in the back, which is cool. It uses those trussing triangle guys that I always want to use, but I always forget. I really need to use those. Those look so good. That might be, like, the coolest block in the game. Is that flat triangle. It looks really good for some reason. Like, the detailing of the, uh, plating. Really, really good, Stan. Great work, man. This is the SSW Kiwa. Another solid, solid minimalist epic combat CV build by Stan. Big hype. Thank you, sir. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me look at the, uh, the cost and stuff. I don't want to see that. This is a Core 7. So it's not even fully, you know... And it's on the cheap. And you could totally like integrate the uh, CPU blocks. Is there room for more? Maybe that's what this is. Probably what this is. That's room for another CPU block here and here. Yeah, so there you go. So that's where the advances I'm assuming would go. Well thought, well thought out. I mean, there's hard points too. I mean, you could add some harvesting to this if you wanted to, I guess. Multifunction kind of deal. Very cool, very cool. Thank you, man. Our next build is by Dollar Zero. And this is the Prospector. Whoa. <laughs> caution. Just lots and lots of caution. I see drills even. Is the, are those drills or? There's 10 drills, so it's a 10 drill miner. Wow. Okay, so that's the primary function of it. 
I, it's throwing me off because it looks like a CV. I'm thinking it's a CV. It's an SV. Jeez. 10,000 harvest cargo. So 20,000 cargo. 1,000 ammo cargo. It has a warp drive. Has a shield. A nice, nice viewpoint for a miner. Drills clean. Yeah, dude, freaking solid, man. Wow. All right, day drink later, man. Really cool, man. Some nice details with the deco. Um, all around, just the shaping's really interesting. The, the, the overall shape of it's super, super unique. Uh, you get inside and there's just a lot going on there, which is really cool. Yeah, it's 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 neat, man. This is really cool right here. This business, like good texture choices and just the deco looks or starting the decal. This is what I mean. Looks really cool. I bet this performs really well. Good defense. Really, really interesting little miner. Dude, we. Oh, we we got so many cool builds to choose from, man, in this community. Like it's it's unreal, man. We we got some really really interesting stuff. Core nine. That is a solid build. That is by Dollar Zero, and that is the. Prospector, high G minor. Phenomenal work, sir. Phenomenal work. All right, our next build is by Lenny Pierce. And this is the Roosterfish T1 gunship. Wow. This is an S. B? Yeah. Nice. A lot of different thrust here. Very interesting. Looks cool. A little shit, man. Yeah, the shaping's cool. I like this coming out like that and then insetting down there and it's nice, nice gunship. Nice. 
Wow, like 30,000 cargo in this thing. Got a little food processor up there. <laughs> Constructor. Everything's integrated nice, nice interior. Nice lighting and yeah, very cool. is over CPU oh you know what this might be a this seems to be a vanilla build and it's just in reforged but I think it's a vanilla build because it's just got the advanced okay okay So if it's vanilla, I won't really fly it around because I don't want to misrepresent it. Because it'll definitely handle way differently in vanilla than it will in Reforged. Flight systems are completely different. I'm sure it performs really well given all this thrust in vanilla. Looks like it's a takeoff, you know? It's a ton of thrust to go up, up and over. Good job, sir. Very nice. This is... So I guess it would be a... What do you call that in vanilla? A... I... God, I need... Do I need to go play vanilla? Like, I forget. What, what do you call... A tier 4, right? Yeah, a tier 4 CPU. Yeah, that's, I think that's what you call it. Tier. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, we've completely forgotten vanilla. Oh no. It's horrible. Good stuff, man. This is a tier 4 vanilla uh, CPU uh, SV. This is by Roosterfish. Or no, this is by Lenny Pierce. It is the Roosterfish tier 1 gunship. Jesus, what is wrong with me? Let me drink some more coffee. No, I don't need to play vanilla. I'll play vanilla for one day. That's all it'll take. It'll take one day to play vanilla. I'll I'll get on the starter planet. I'll get off the starter planet. And vanilla's over. No, that's it. That's it. It's a one day thing. It's fun for a day. Uh, There's a lot of difference, dude. Um, All jokes aside, I, I talk a lot of shit about vanilla. But um, if you're new to the game, definitely play vanilla. Start out in vanilla, learn the basics, you know, learn the concept of, you know, basic building and stuff. But Reforged now has come to a point where it is truly a very different experience. Um, combat is extremely different. Uh, there's a lot more blocks. There's a lot more interesting. Um, the experience is just insane. You know, you have uh just beautiful beautiful um systems and and just interesting planets and things that you don't have in uh in vanilla as well as just tons of you know you have a tiered uh turret system where you have like tier two turrets that do a lot more damage you have you just you just have so much content man so many uh, you know more things that you can play around with and and reforge you have you can add blocks to increase your cpu and give yourself more room to upgrade and and make your build more and more uh customizable um for for you know different issues in the game you know different things that you want to attack and you know you have uh more advanced mining options with dense asteroids and dense ass ice dense ass <laughs> dense ice asteroids um yeah just a lot i can't i can't I, you know that's my little 20 second spiel but um you know if you played vanilla and you know you get the gist of it and you're you're happy with the game you like it um it's definitely the uh 
it's the grand show. It's like, okay, now here's what Imperion should feel like, you know, and then you get into that and it's just, it's amazing, dude. You know, join, uh, links below the Discord. Uh, join up. You're going to get a ton of information about Reforged. Um, we have the developers of Reforged Eden in the Discord, and they're extremely active, answer lots of questions, uh, you know, give concepts and, and their point of view on things. And um, really, really cool. Definitely check it out. It is on the workshop. Uh, you would basically just subscribe to the scenario. Then you could play it both single player or you can jump on the Anvil server and play it with us. So. Extra factions. Yeah, I mean, just everything, dude. There's so much. I can't even say enough about it. I can sit here for another hour and talk about what Reforged Eden is, but definitely better to just join the conversation in Discord. Yeah, it's free. It's free. All right, so that was by Lenny Pierce. Again, that is the Roosterfish Tier 1 gunship. Our next build is by Filbert Farmer, and this is the Titan Mark One. Hey, well, welcome to uh, Anvil, Gunter. Wow, what the freaking hell is this thing? Holy shit. Whoa. Oh, man, I'm jealous. This looks really cool. I wish I built this. I love the shapes, dude. Oh, this is sick. Yeah. Yeah. This is a minor. This is too cool to be a minor, man. This looks too, dude. It looks like it. It like starts out as this, and it just, you know, like like exactly. You said you saw my hands, right? So it does this, and then it goes, and then like the wings come out, and then they go like that. That's what it looks like, right? Like literally, that's what it looks like mechanically. That is so cool. Ah, oh. yeah, dude. Just the the texturing and the uh, the color scheme, dude. It's so sick. I I might I might have to adopt Filbert into the faction just so I could use his builds in game. <laughs> like a little loophole. Hey, Filbert, just join the faction, man. You don't have to do anything. Nah, you dude, just take whatever you want, man. It's cool. Fine. Yeah, dude, it's sick. Look at that. It tears to the back with some epic thrust. Ah. Wait, it's got oh, it's got like trickery in there too. This is oh, see, it it's literally just black and white, dude, and it's got some little accents here, but it looks so good, man. Oh, it's got a little gray in the back, okay? You know, like... One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight... It's got it's ten... Yeah, it's like a max drill miner, man. This is so good. Wow. 18,000 harvest cargo, 3,600 ammo cargo. Damn. I don't even know what that means, but it's cool. Is that for, so that's for the med bay, what's that for? I don't know what that is, but I bet it's something cool. I love this, dude, this looks good too. Wow. Look at the little globy thing. Oh, it's like, hey, here's here's the planet. Habitability. Habitability. Welcome to XBC. Hey, look at that. Odysseus popping off 10 gift subs. Welcome to XBC. Wow, big hype to Odysseus. Thank you, man. That is, uh, they've gifted 45 Welcome subs to the to channel XBC. in total. Salute to you, Odysseus. Very nice. Hudley, we got Stukile, Solarius, L White, 
Zeluso. Zelusa. Scrubby, Granted Gamers, and Blind Quail. Welcome to XBC. That is Hudley's uh, second month uh, resub. And then we've got uh, Sablik and Simba. Welcome to XBC. Big hype, dude. Thanks to Odysseus popping off the gift subs. Guys, links below Welcome the Discord. That that gift sub basically gains you access to the Anvil community server. Welcome get whitelisted, get in. We are right in the middle of season four. Tons and tons Welcome of time to, to get into the server and have a lot of fun. Lots of people develop that can help out. Uh, get into the mix, man. Join up on a faction. We got a faction recruitment channel. Or if you want to uh, play solo, that's that's awesome as well, man. Thanks again to Odysseus. This is cool, man. I like this little LCD. Like, it's just... It, so now I'm confused. The whole thing's an LCD? The whole... Honestly, what the hell am I looking at, to be honest? Like, what is that? I don't know what I'm looking at, and it's, it's actually bothering me. I'm getting... I'm getting a little upset. What? Okay, so that's a block. What is that? What block is that? There's just a... I don't remember there being... Is there a cylinder? Like, I don't remember there being, like, a whole sphere. Am I just losing my mind? Do I not use spheres at all? <sighs> yeah. No, that is. That's the half... Yeah, yeah. Wow. Dude. That's fucking clever, bro. <laughs> that is really cool. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's that's nuts, dude. That's really cool. And the little the little LCD business on the thing. Ah. clear it right it's two blocks it should clear it this is a lava planet so like the it's not as easy to mine in a lava planet you might have to do a little bit of bowling oh burrow in first person fair enough I don't know dude this might be like the the coolest miner i've ever seen i i could I like i mm. yeah, this is my opinion guys i mean it's just my opinion but i think this thing looks freaking cool i love that cockpit man this the whole thing looks really really sick i've seen some really cool miners too so i mean it's close but yeah this this is one of them this thing is freaking unreal dude Yeah, and that's the beauty of it. Like, you don't have to have something the shape of an auger anymore to be a miner. Like, this thing looks like a whole ship. Like, this doesn't even have to be a miner. This could be a... You could take these lasers off and make it a combat ship, and it would it would be just as good, you know? Like, that's cool, man. That's cool when you can do that. And that's cool for the game to have that ability to uh, to integrate that function without it having to be 
you know, like the old school drill sergeant, ladybug, or drill hole maker thing, or you know, all the classic miners that had to be that specific brick to uh, to function. It's cool now that we're at a point where we can have some style with our miners, um, you know, without uh, losing that function. So, really, Filbert, right on, right on. That's that's clean, dude. It's super clean. That is by Filbert Farmer, and that is the Titan Mark One. Is a core nine, it's solid, dude. Solid, and it's got room for three ox cores too. So you can put some uh, some more advanced turrets or whatever you want to do. Sick, 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 sick. Our next build is by Klutzaruni, and this is the Ki Mind Tender. Oh, I w dude, I was going to feel just cheated if there wasn't some pink in this build, but thank God I came to the front and there's the pink door. I got worried, honestly. I thought something was wrong. Appreciate it, Klutz. <laughs> nice, nice. So we've got a nice... Uh... Is it a module? Yeah, I guess it probably would be, right? Nice little area to park your uh, your little miner or whatever. Solar panels. It it's definitely a module because it's got the door and stuff in the front and the side and all that. Quick access to cockpit. Two cockpits actually. Two hundred ninety-six cargo and two hundred ninety-six harvest cargo. Rear access. Uh, that's cool. Gives you access to your uh, SV. Yeah. 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 It's probably what it is for, to be honest. Mine tender. Yeah. Mine tender. Mine. Yeah for auto miners that that's probably what it does you could probably stand right here land over it and grab it yeah no i bet that's what it is clean man cool as a module too i don't know i feel like the helmet's gonna fall down yeah i'm a little worried there Mag oh, magnets. I, damn, I forget about magnets. Every time. Fair, fair. This is cool, man. Cool little module. Definitely serves a purpose for you auto miner people. Yeah, auto miner people. Meh, meh. I have my opinions. You know them. It's cool. Or wait, didn't I not have a problem with those? I don't remember. I think like one stream I got to the point where I, I was almost cool with auto miners. I don't remember why. I have to revisit that conversation. But good job just the same. This is a... Yeah. Whoa. That's a extreme jump. I feel like... I feel like you need to revisit that klutz. I wonder if he just liked the three circles. Like, you could have put, like, a couple improved in there. It would have been a lot cheaper. I would I would swap those out. But, yeah, some people got it like that, man. Maybe he's just got, you know, he's got uh, advanced bridges and stuff to spare, you know? It is warp capable. 
Or maybe it just doesn't have the room to put two improved. That could be it too. That could be the thing. I'd find a way though. I feel like you could probably fit one somewhere. Yeah, Filbert, yeah. Well, regardless, good job. That is by Klutzeruni, and that is the KI Mind Tender High Grav. Great work, Klutz, as always. Another monthly solid participant, man. I, I really need to... Like, I'm so bad with these, like, challenges as far as the data of it. Like, I'd really like to give, um... Um... You know, people that have participated in these challenges month in and month out, man. I feel like it needs, like, a separate accommodation, you know? I feel like it needs to be recognized, you know? I mean, I think there's probably people that may have done every single one of them, or if not, almost all of them. Um, you know, 40... Let's see, if if I've been streaming for 42 months... Is it 42 or 40? I don't know. What What's your thing, Dragon? I, I want to say maybe 43. So 43 months, that's that's literally like 43 challenges. It's a lot of challenges to do. And like if, if there's people out there that have done a lot to almost all of them. Yeah, I feel like there needs to be some kind. I just don't know how to go back and do that. Like I think, I don't think we have that data. Sadly, we might, we might in the brief. I mean, I feel like the challenge brief channel might have always been there. So maybe the data is there. And listen, this is not me asking boss man to go and do that. Please don't. I, <laughs> I'm not asking. Please don't. For the record, I'm not asking boss man to do that. I swear. Um, but no, that would be cool. It would be cool to like you know, accommodate that. Like even if it's just like a. Uh... See, this is where I kind of miss uh, team speak. So team speak, I would do badges and stuff. And like an old community I have, we had badges for, you know that went after your name and and it'd be cool if you could do that uh i don't think discord really has that we could do roles but it would just kind of get messy right but maybe after doing like you know 20 challenges or something you get some extra role or something. i don't know we, i'll figure something out I, I, I just feel like it needs you know and then the other thing i'd love to do is to kind of go back and um look at like an old challenge uh series like wouldn't it be cool to go back to like the first or second challenge and just look at all the builds again and see how far we've come in the game like i just i don't know it's just logistics of how to do something like that but i think it would be cool to kind of see that all right so our next build is by crazy z and this is the pss paragon steroid That's true, Bollinger. That'd be that'd be a cool way to do it. Yo, look at this little guy. This is clean, man. Look at crazy popping off something clean as usual. Are these little hard points to put like things in? Yeah. Oh no, those are. Is it? Maybe. I feel like it. Oh, maybe thrusters. Like extra thrusters or something maybe I don't know wow cool way to do the thrust that's cool man the hard points nice four gatlings or rocket launchers okay okay cool 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 yeah good amount of upward thrust definitely this is nice man it's got this cool window look at that that's that's clean classy as always my lights off right yeah maybe like ox cores or something more CPU. More stuff. Just lots of room for like upgrades. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. Shield. Warp drive. Wow. Drone hatch. 
Dude, this is slick, man. Drone hatch open. What? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, you guys in your LCD stuff. Is clean as always, man. It is, right? Like, that's crazy, dude. Oh, and it just moves. Oh, I failed. That was a that was a me fail. No, for sure, man. This is this is clean, dude. So it's got 2090 cargo. Dude, what? This thing's got 36,000 cargo? Come on. Holy shit, that's a lot of cargo, dude. Like, I would have never thought this had that much cargo. Because it's got so much thrust, right? That it's good for like high G, but in a normal planet, like you could still use this as like a really s s small cargo. I mean, that that's a ton of cargo for something this small. Oh yeah, I, trust me, I know crazy. There's a, there's a few catalogs I'm very very familiar with. Yours is one of them. So yeah, this is great, man. And see, that's the thing with Crazy Z, right? Is he doesn't use a lot of textures. Um, he uses color, a lot of color. And it's, it's such a cheat code because, you know, if you build things with a lot of extensions, like, he he bypasses that whole issue of texturing container extensions because he doesn't really need to because he's really good at doing the color thing. So it just, yeah, it always seems to work for him. Very, very nice, man. Yeah, no, me, you and me both, man. I mean... <laughs> They literally went to DeviantArt and just took a bunch of textures off DeviantArt and put it in the game. Like, there's no... I just feel like they have so many options now. And, you know, the whole the whole uh, block ID thing, I thought that was supposed to clear up a lot of room for more textures, but... But then again, I feel like if we got a bunch of textures, I'd probably hate that too. Because then, like, all my builds would feel like I got to go retexture them. And who wants to go texture builds again? Not me. I don't even want to texture the ones I have to texture now. But it needs an insane effort to make the color pass. No, and that, listen, I wasn't... Um, that's what I was saying. Like, his color uh, palette and ability to uh, tone and, you know, is so high level that he doesn't need to texture he textures with color he's one of the few that can really pull off texturing with color like his his tonal ranges and stuff when he goes into that like it's and the way he plays with lighting and stuff it's insane so yeah big hype to crazy z as always this is the pss paragon steroid it is a core three super on the cheap dude and it's like tons of freaking cargo Crap, dude. Very, very clean, dude. Very clean. Great job, as always. Alright, so I think we have time for one more build here, and that's going to put us at about the halfway point, so that we have, um, we have another full stream next Saturday. And I want to say this is a first-time entry as well. This is uh, Neek. New Niuk N I U Q. I'm gonna go with Neek. This is the Decimus. You.
Sorry, I had to inspect a, a boo boo from little X cow. Little, she's got a little cut. Yeah, this is combat heavy. This is beastie, man. It's giving me like Scar Reaver vibes. So frontal cockpit, it looks like we have even more like uh, hard points for like fixed weapons, more fixed weapons. It's got plasma, one, two, three, four. So it's got eight plasma cannons. It's got rail guns. It's got Gatling guns. It's got positron beam turrets. It's got laser turrets. Jeez. Come back here and more positron. Wow. Fire all, right? Yikes. Really interesting wing situation going on here. Oh, wow. It looks like we got a little. Oh, okay. So from the top. Okay, so that's a drone hatch, probably. Internal cockpit, passenger seat. It's got 16,000 main cargo. It's got like 20,000 ammo cargo. Two fridges, because why not? It's got an internal and external cockpit. Oh, it moves really well, too. Does it have a shield? A heavy shield generator with, like, literally all the capacitors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight capacitors, four chargers. This is a beast, man. So wait, now I'm confused. Oh, these are all rail guns. I, I don't know why I was saying they're plasma. These are all rail guns. Seven eighty five. It's a core nine. Yeah, it's not taking any ox cores either. Like, wow. Yeah, it's a beast, man. It moves really well, too. That's awesome, dude. What a great first time submission. This is a beast. Wow. Very, very cool. Great, great build. That is by Neek, and that is the Decimus. Yeah, bring it in. I think, um, let me see here. Yeah, it's on the workshop. So if you want to grab it, it's the Decimus. Uh, links will be in challenge uh, submission channel too in the uh, Discord. So if you're new to the community and if you like any of these builds, you could check them out in the challenge submission channel of the Discord, as well as um, what we're going to see uh, next Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern. 
which will be the second half of the high g challenge uh as i stated guys uh august will be um oh perfect timing youtube uh <laughs> august will be uh combat cv month uh there'll be some specifics but it'll be pretty open definitely um well it'll probably be open to the 30 the 30 uh advanced cpu blocks that uh we can have in the anvil server so 10 ox 10 quantum 10 hamster cages and um you know all all i want is a brief description brief brief description of what it is what what is this for what do you actually uh attack with this because there's so many different loadouts so many different weapons uh systems and combinations and like i want to know i want to see some creativity i really want to see some specialized combat uh and i might even call it specialized i don't you know i mean we've seen a lot of uh you know like just heavy shield you know specific you know i use lasers i use this I want to see like a rail gun. I want to see, you know, I want to see some of these things and I want to know specifically what she uses for. Uh, I want to learn some new things in this next month. Um, Cause there's a lot of new, uh, there's not a lot of new weapons and I haven't seen, you know, too many of them used. Maybe they're not, um, you know, maybe they're not better than laser cannons, but is there a unique use for them that could make it a little better, a little stronger or is it just that it's not the right combination of you know shield versus dps that you know is making it not great versus using something else so just try to get you know try to get creative and uh let's see what you guys come up with i'm excited to see it because you know i'm starting my combat venture in the server and i'm gonna start building um you know i'm gonna be doing the challenge as well i'm gonna be building basically my combat uh kind of end game combat cv so uh yeah and then uh i am gonna be doing a verse month uh, i think we could probably solidify that i i'm not gonna tell you what verse we're doing but we'll probably do that i think in september that sounds like a plan um other than that guys uh tomorrow there is going to be a event in the server um i won't be streaming tomorrow or let me take that back i won't be streaming the event tomorrow um I am hosting a uh, a very laid back uh, kind of little bachelor barbecue for uh, for my buddy Neil who's getting married in the next couple weeks. Here we're gonna have a little barbecue. We're gonna do some uh, we we'll do some like chipotle chicken and and do some steak and stuff. Just do some like tacos or something like that. Um, I might pop at some point and do a little stream, maybe a little half hour thing or just something from the barbecue. Not like a whole cooking stream, but just just a little light, hey, what's up? Have a beer with you guys uh, tomorrow. Uh, so look out for that. But I, I also don't want to take away from who is going to be streaming uh, the event tomorrow, if it's going to be Ravenhawk or something. So we'll see. We'll play it by ear. Um, but yeah, I might pop in and just say hey in the streams live from the barbecue. And um, next week, next Sunday, I think we're going to have a... Uh, a um salute to uh to neil uh bachelor party stream something something like that uh next week we'll be playing uh, ready or not which is a uh really cool tactical uh you know they call it like swat five basically so really uh cool close quarters kind of combat thing uh and then also uh, avorion i do want to play avorion i plan on playing it next week um you know so just something something different revisiting a game that i haven't played in in a year or two uh we tried it a long time ago and and since then they've come out with so much uh so many updates so i definitely want to check it out i feel like it's one of those uh it's one of those games you can kind of compare to imperion in some ways and it has a lot more in some other ways definitely doesn't have a lot in other ways but we'll see we'll see if it's uh something cool that i'm gonna want to play um yeah, congrats to Neil, man. He's super happy, dude. So big hype to Neil. But yeah, that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be it for today, guys. Um, I will catch you guys tomorrow, if anything. Uh, guys, for July, thanks for all the support, man. I can't say enough. Um, as you guys know as well, um, we did finally reach our goal in in, in Patreon. Uh, 475 a month uh, to be able to pay uh, my, my internet bill 
So um, I, I can't thank you guys enough. Those that have, uh, you know, there's there's lots of you that have um, been contributing to Patreon since the beginning, and um, I, I can't say enough, dude. It's uh, it's literally keeping keeping me going, especially you know presently, and and y you guys know what's going on. So, um, thank you, thank you so much for uh, those new to Patreon. Thank you guys as always, and um, you guys are uh, you guys are amazing. And uh, everybody else, man, thanks for all the support today. Thanks for the hype. Little x -Cal hype. No, I'm not dancing too. You're dancing because what? I'm finished. You're finished? So big hype to you guys as always. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Until then, take care. Stay root to... Ugh. I can't talk today, man. Stay tuned for the raid.